everybody. Um, right on the station, y'all. Um, and I am gonna do stuff. Um, this is not every Thomas says, obviously, because the title says it is not. Um, I had somebody want me to show how to basically draw and color in Photoshop. So I've been working on this picture off and on. Um, oops. This was actually a picture that I drew in pen at work uh, based on I got the idea from the song um, Walking My Gargoyle by uh, the Gothic Archies and I love that song. It's like one of my favorite songs. So, and I'm like, well, it's kind of cute. I'm going to draw it and I'm going to make it a wallpaper and I'm going to color it. And I'm going to color it before I make it a wallpaper. So, might as well use this one as an example. Um, I'm sure people have their own ways of outlining things in Photoshop. This is how I do it. I mean, you could take, you could take a brush and be like, we it's not perfect. That's actually how I draw my um, cartoons frame by frame, just so it's easier. But when I'm actually drawing a pictorial, this is what I do. You have the select tool, correct? You have this one, which is the rectangular marquee tool. So like this can select in a rectangle or in a circle. This one has a lasso, which is free selection, and then the magnetic tool, where like raw, it shows it it goes to lines. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> but this is my favorite tool. It is the polygonal lasso tool, where you go straight line, click, 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 click. click. I wonder what this will do. Oh. oh, whatever. So that's what I do to outline and color stuff. Um, so this is what I do. Na, na, na. And I'm sure um, you've seen some of me doing this in Raytana says and stuff. Um, this can get sort of tedious. Um, this is actually how I did all of chapter one of playing with fire. Um, and my god. <laughs> Yeah, tedious is putting it lightly. Um, and then chapter two, I um, oh my cell phone's running out of battery. Did it all all by hand, including the coloring. I colored in pencil. And now, what I'm sticking with is I'm doing the lines by hand and coloring in Photoshop. Now with the selection tools, there's the single one. So if you want to just you know select something once. Then there's the multiple single one. And then there's like this one where you can subtract selection. Oh, we don't want to do that right now. And then there's this one. I what does this do? Ah. Uh, okay, well I never use that one. So this one you use if you want to select multiple stuff. And for, you know, for the pupils, I'm just going to use the circle select tool. So, yeah. Things. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to do the eyes and the eyebrows right now. I meet everyone walking my gargoyle. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna make this into a t-shirt too. I would totally buy it for myself, and if anybody else wants to buy it, well, whoopee for me. <laughs> but I think um, I might not put the sun in there. Well, I don't know. The sun is really happy and silly, so I might put it in there. But there will be no background, there will be no sidewalk or anything. It'll just be moi with a gargoyle on a leash. I'm walking my gargoyle. 
People recoil when they see me. Obviously, I'm pretty extreme. <laughs> I I love the song. I love so the Gothic Archies. Um, I discovered them when I uh, got the audiobooks for. You know, what? I'm gonna move. No. Okay. So her hair covers some of her eyelashes, but um, audiobook for um, series of unfortunate events. And I guess they did a bunch of music for, like, each of the chapters and such, so, and I just kind of got hooked. I haven't looked for any of their other music or anything. Um, I don't know exactly what they have out there, but awesomeness. Okay, so once you select that, what I do... But you can use the brush tool if you want, but I think it's easier to use the pencil tool. And I just go, whatcha, and there you go, you got lines, motherfucker. And get that away, and ta-da! I don't really like how that eyelash looks, so I'm going to fix it. Tink. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. So, I'm not going to do the rest of it right now. Um, save. But, I will show you how I color. Alright, so let's, let's color the sun. Why not? Hey little little moon, how's Mr. Sun? Okay, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm stopping now. Alright, so Mr. Sun. So what I do is I select in the black line. You could use the magic selection tool, but oftentimes it doesn't get all of them. There are still like some pixels um, on the outside of the black lines that are still left. Um, this is where the subtraction tool comes in handy. Because if I'm going to color the sun yellow, I don't want to color its teeth and mouth yellow too. So we're going to deselect the mouth. <laughs> yeah, alright. Na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Okay, now let's find perfect sun yellow. I'm gonna do this kind of like lady night. Yeah. Bing! And there you go, you got a yellow sun. And you can do one of two shadings. One that I usually do with my, you know, professional looking type hot shawls is there's the um, dodge and the burn tool. And the dodge tool makes stuff lighter, so you can make this part of the sun lighter, this is light. And then there's the dodge tool. Now, suns don't usually have shadows, but there you go. You're dodging, you're dodging, yeah, so, but I don't want to do that right now. Or, you can do this. Oh, by the way, when I colored that, I put it on the multiply. You could put it on linear burn, but um, it tends to make pixels kind of bright. I usually use multiply. Um, and if you're going to do a shadow with... This is the way that I shadow um, playing with fire stuff. Select and blah 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 blah. I'm doing it really crappy because I'm not actually going to shadow it. And then do you select mouth. And what I usually do is I'll go like to a, a light gray color and it's still on multiply so ding so that's more like like gray shadow or if you really want to linear burn what you'll have to do is obviously that's too dark so you'll have to lighten the gray if you use linear burn and so that makes it more of a you know saturated shadow but I'm not shading the sun. So that's that. I really like the way I drew this gargoyle. <laughs> it's so gargoyly. <laughs> so yep, that is a quick demonstration on how to do that. Um, trying to think if there's anything really importante to mention. Really, it's that simple. Um, I don't know how other people outline their stuff really professionally like, because obviously when you're drawing with Mr. Um, doohickey brush thing, it's not going to look perfect. You know, it'd be like, 
Hey, look, it's an anime person. Oh wow, that looks really special. Okay. <laughs> and that's why that doesn't happen. Alright. So yeah, that is that. Um, and if you want like patterns or something, what I usually do is there's the healing brush tool and you can uh, go either sampled or pattern. And so, but there's no, um, ah, there's no like linear burn or multiply function. So if you do this, you're going to erase stuff. However, I believe I said control Z. Okay, thank you new layer and if you go down up to multiply then you can make it better so yeah so and that's patterns so, like you can I made that brick pattern but you can have like this or you can be like woo or you can be like hippie time oh more like hippie time woo okay yeah I'm done <laughs> yeah so that's that yep 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 uh photoshop elements everybody Yay for you. Alright, I'm uh, gonna go continue working on playing with fire. So, y'all. Yeah. Bye bye.